did you know that there are two forces at war in the universe? All chemistry occurs at the front lines of the battle between order and chaos. If order were to win, the universe would be frozen in perfect crystal. But if chaos wins, then all matter would be spread uniformly throughout the universe. Either way, we lose. Order is mediated by chemical attractions, but movement dominates disorder. In this lesson, we will see how a balance between attraction and movement leads to the three phases of matter. We pay special attention to the liquid phase, which gets its unique properties from a mixture of ordering and disordering forces. The most chaotic phase of matter is the gas phase. Any substance will become a gas at high enough temperature when the kinetic energy of its speedy particles overcomes the attraction between those particles. If particle attractions within a gas are negligible, then the gas behaves ideally. The most ordered phase of matter is the solid phase. In solids, the particles are so strongly attracted to each other that they no longer move around. The particle attractions are much greater than the particle's kinetic energy. However, there is a magic phase of matter in between solids and gases. In the liquid phase, the particles can move past each other like in gases, but the forces of attraction are enough to hold the particles together like in a solid. In this chapter, we'll explore the different types of particle attractions, which chemists call IMFs or intermolecular forces. When particles have lots of strong IMFs, such as for polar molecules, they stick together and are more likely to be liquid or solid. Particles with few IMFs are more likely to be gases. Think of particles like magnets or sticky boogers tumbling about in a dryer. The stronger the magnet, the stickier the particle. But the faster the dryer, the more likely it is that the particles will break apart. In this chapter, We'll explore the different types of particle attractions, which chemists call IMFs, or intermolecular forces.